What's up guys, Gary with self -taught Dev. Today we are talking about front-end masters. Is it worth it? Should you spend your money on it? Or should you go somewhere else to learn stuff? Now, if you are just starting out, just getting into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I probably would go somewhere else. There are better places to get the basics down. But if you have the basics down, or you are currently a developer, this is hands down the best place to increase your JavaScript knowledge. A problem a lot of online education resources have is keeping their courses up to date, as we saw with Udacity's Nano Degree. But Front End Masters does a pretty good job of solving that problem. They do workshops, they do multiple ones per month. Like they've got getting a front end dev job, intro to View 3, building web apps with View 3, and then they've got complete intro to React version 6. So this is the sixth time they have updated their intro to React course. So they're really good at keeping their stuff up to date. Uh, you want, you can watch it live. You just have to RSVP to attend. And then I believe you can ask questions when you're watching it and they'll answer questions every once in a while throughout the course or throughout the live stream. If you don't want to watch it live, you can wait and they will eventually hack it up into a course. It's usually pretty quick. It's usually up after about a day, maybe two. This is what the courses look like. They are 100% video courses. It's not like front end, or it's not like free code camp where you have like the text and then an IDE to work in. It's all videos. There are a few exercises for you though. So sometimes they will give you like an exercise file. Like I know, I don't know if they do in this one. Yeah, they do. See, from exercises. So there is an exercise file somewhere in the past few videos here. But that is one thing I would change. Um, they don't give you like projects to work on on your own. And that's where I think a lot of the learning comes from when you're trying to become a developer, building stuff on your own, because that's when you have like a local file and a mock-up and specifications and you build it on your own. You're not following along with somebody on YouTube or something like that. You've got to figure it out on your own. And that kind of simulates what it's like being a dev. You get a task and you have to figure it out. You can use Stack Overflow, but you still have to figure it out on your own. You don't have somebody to walk you through it. But the videos are super informative and a lot of their teachers, actually almost all their teachers are really well educated and have pretty good credentials like Brian Holt. He's one of the really good teachers. He works at Microsoft. Will Sentence is a really entertaining teacher. He work, he's a teacher at Codesmith. Uh, they have Kyle Simmons. He wrote the You Don't Know JS books. This guy works at Mozilla. Jim works at Netflix. So all their teachers work at really cool places and they know what they're talking about. They also have these courses. So like if you are a beginner or a professional or an expert, the beginner courses just cover like complete intro to web dev, getting started with JS, JS from fundamentals to functional. Um, and then they've got the mid-level one where it's like JS, the hard parts. They dive a little bit deeper into JavaScript in this one and a little bit deeper in CSS. And then they have the advanced or expert ones. Not sure which one this was, uh, which I haven't got to watch yet, but they talk about even more in-depth stuff in this one. And then they also have stuff broken down by topics. So like JS, CSS, Node, Angular, Vue, React, Webpack, D3, AsyncJS, and Rx. We've got a lot of good topics. And then as you saw in the workshops, they are doing like getting a front end dev job. Uh, they don't, they do stuff that's not exactly like straight up tech stuff like this. Uh, there was one on VS Code, how to use VS Code to its fullest potential. That's not what it was called, this one, yeah. VS Code can do that, question mark. I learned a lot of great stuff on there that helped my workflow when I'm creating stuff. And then they also got stuff on Gatsby. They've got all sorts of great courses on here for you. Now, if you are just getting started out, they do have a bootcamp. If you just Google front end masters bootcamp, it should bring up something like this. You can sign up and create a free account and then you get about 21 hours worth of content for free where they go over the intro to HTML, intro to CSS, intro to JS, and then they build a few projects in here too. So if you want, you can try it out for free. Most of the courses, when I'm going through them, I kind of treat it like a college course. Like in the Deep JS Foundations, I was sitting there taking notes in a notebook. I made flashcards and I kind of study it like a college course. There's no tests or anything like that, but still helps me get the knowledge down. And then they also have apps for like your phone or tablets if you're interested in those too. I mostly just watch them on the desktop though. Now prices, what is the price? $40 a month or $390 a year, or if you can convince your employer to pay for it. Uh, they also have team memberships, uh, $195 per month for 10 people or $1950 per year for 10 people. 
So priced pretty competitively with all of the other educational platforms out there. And in my humble opinion, as a self-taught dev, this is one of the best places to go to increase your JavaScript knowledge. Again, I'd say if you're just getting started with the basics, go to like Free Code Camp or Team Treehouse. But once you got the basics down, come here. Definitely a great place. The only thing I would I wish they had were projects you could build on your own. Uh, they do do exercises during the courses, but I think having projects to build on your own is one of the best things you can do to improve your knowledge as a developer. I make free developer or free projects for aspiring front end devs. So if you're interested in that, come to the Discord. There's a new project every month or look in the description. Uh, there's a link to the Discord in there. And then I'll also have a link to my project archive site there where you can get all my other projects that I've made. But aside from the projects, this is a super great place to learn and highly recommend it if you have the basics down. Now, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, we've got a link for the Discord or the projects that I make in the description as well. If this helps you out, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm putting out good stuff and I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.